the most hype banner of the year boys it's here green matrona it was not enough to have one matrona they made a second one it was not enough to have two matronas they now have a third one who needs mon speed who needs characters that actually people like <laughs> Let's make more Matronas! Let's have a different named Matrona next. Um, the banner's amazing, as you can see. Red Skinny King, Death Pierce, Balian, uh, Blue Matrona, Gurheed, Red Jericho, Nanashi, you know, bl b Red Arthur, Blue Hauser, Champion Meliodas. Like, come on, the banner is the best banner of the year. So let's. Um, Let's start pulling, and this is the best char character of the year as well. I have to pull up what it does, actually. This is the best character of the year, too. So, um, okay. now that the character is gone. Please don't summon this banner. It's last year, what we had in this place, in this date right here, was Tonar. And last year, I was like, bro, like, okay, we're, gonna, we're probably gonna have a collab next week. Or I think we, we had already leaked the collab. I'm not sure. It's been a year. But Tonar is so good for dogs. It's like, you probably should summon, you know? Uh, this year is not the same. <laughs> it's nice. You guys can skip a banner with no, like, remorse whatsoever. Pretty much. But... Well, I, I don't have, like, there's nowhere that has these this Matrona translated. It was just my video. I guess no one else bothered. Uh, I guess I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna have to reopen the patch notes and uh, retranslate, so I'm not mistaken what she does. But yeah, th there's no remorse in skipping this banner. It is cheap, sure. It is cheap. But 242 banners... Will, oh, sorry, 242 gems would definitely be nicer to have than to waste right now when there's probably a collab next week. It's not confirmed, but it's been leaked. There is a collab coming. So having a 242 banner this week is a very big time sign that the collab is in fact next week. So that's just, I mean, thankfully there's a 242 banner so I don't have to spend any more than, I, than that and just have the character do the showcase in Skedaddle. Man, that's, uh, that's the character right here, boom. Man, she already is a true for you, true. You might as well also make her 1%, you know what I mean? Like, have some decency, right? Like, people already don't like her, or don't want her. Like, at least make her rates a little bit higher. Yeah, let's take a look at her animations while we unlock her passive and talk about what she does. Oh boy, <laughs> very exciting stuff, I know. I know, everyone's just <laughs> on the edge of their seats to learn what Matrona does as I am opening the Translate app to see on the other screen. Let's, uh, let's do her stance real quick. So her stance, let's start with her stance. It is taunts for three turns, increases HP related stats, by 15%. Now, I was very confused on why she increases ma uh, HP related stats by 15% when there is another character called Deldry that increases by 30, but whatever. Her skill is El Classico Take Off Ultimate Gauge. I know, exciting stuff. Her passive is where she might be decent. And I say, I think there could be a situation where she is good for hero arena, but we'll have to see. So at the start of battle, reduces damage taken by allies by 30% for two turns and recover 20% of maximum HP of all allies Affected by debuffs at the start of their turn. Now we're gonna have to see um, that th the way it reads, it could mean two things. Either the recovery of HP also only lasts the first two turns of battle, because if it, if it does, it's so terrible. 
Oh, her her taunt level one is two returns. Okay, that's why her taunt has lower numbers. Or it's a different. It's a new taunt card because uh, the only other taunt card I can think of that lasts three turns on level one is small dn. But hers is not HP related stats; it's defense related stats. So, All right, let me jump into a match and see how her passive works. I have absolutely no idea what to run of this character, so it's a blue buff. The damage reduction? Are you kidding me? So any PV activity that removes your buffs, like Snake, is just useless. Okay, that's great. I went Lost Veins, Scotty. These are true general characters, and on top of that... Oh, by the way, Matrona has old stats, so she's gonna get demolished. Um, Matrona has a relic that gives giants 25% basic stats. Right, that healing was pretty crazy, but that's because I also have SR Liz in the back. So I wanted to combine both healings and see how it would do. Um, let's do this, I guess. That's her taunt. She has the worst kind of taunt. It increases HP. Not like... The other Matrona taunt is way better. The other Matrona has the, the green the end taunt where it increases defense related stats. It's so much better. Uh, yeah, look how, how... I mean, the, uh, Merlin here wouldn't make that much of a difference, because if you increase your resistance, you'd still take a lot of damage, but... So, okay. The damage reduction is already gone. Forever. So, that's good. Let me do this. I'll move Matrona cards, get her ultimate. Now let's go for her ultimate, boys. Wipe him out. Wipe him out with my crazy ultimate. Okay. Scotty is doing like some heavy lifting right now. <laughs> some big time heavy lifting right now. With all those debuffs. I mean, I, sh I should not have brought SR Liz. Let me, let me take out SR Liz. So I can check if her her passive actually heals after the two turns have elapsed, because I'm gonna assume so, but the way it reads, you wouldn't know. The way the passive reads, you wouldn't know if it's like, you're trolling. You are trolling. You wouldn't know if it's like, an all-encompassing, all in true, like the first two turns, she has damage reduction and she heals. Or if it's the whole match. That's gonna hurt. Okay, thank you, Scotty. I mean, let's see how much we heal. That might... Unless she dies. Okay. Yeah, her healing is definitely working. SR Liz would not have healed that much. Okay. So her healing does work at all times. I mean... <clears throat> think of a situation where Halloween Matrona exists, right? Halloween Matrona literally exists and you got her for free. This character does the same thing, but she is not free. Yeah. I'll play one more match, I guess. It's like she is red Matrona, but not free. I right, took off SR Liz so that we can actually see what her healing looks like properly. Uh, hopefully Lost Vein doesn't <laughs> immediately seal us. Whatever. We got the damage reduction the first two turns. I don't know why the, the damage reduction isn't, isn't gray. Why is this damage reduction blue? But whatever. Who cares? Like, I think that this character could be good in Hero Arena. I actually think so. Seeing her kit, I mean, the cards. Why take off Alt Gauge? And this shittier version of Taunt. 
But all like again, all things considered, I think she could be good for Hero Arena. So do keep that in mind. Okay, the healing was 63k. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that that's what that was. Alright. Let's see this turn. I don't want... Just like, Lost Vein seals me, it's over for the healing. And there are so many characters right now in PvP that seal you. And in Hero Arena as well. Right? So... Like, bro, next season of Hero Arena, you can be damn sure they're gonna put Demon King in there. I would be shocked if Demon King is not in the next season of Hero Arena. So shocked. Yeah, shit, 68k honestly is very good. Like, comparison, like, you know, we have 170k health. That is a huge chunk of our health. Now, this doesn't mean that we won. <laughs> But for the contrary, uh, there's not much I can do here. I guess I should have pulled, pulled push for Mana's ultimate. Scotty could save us here by attack lowering bond enough, but it just barely didn't get crit a single time. Like, he obviously in PvP, she's dog shit. Um, yeah, thank you, Scotty. But I can see it. Hero Arena is not active right now, so I can't check her. So good time to release this character, by the way. <laughs> the one game mode I'm like, oh, she could be good in this, is not even active in the game. So great timing, but she could be, could not. I think you know, especially if you're going second, that healing. Cause like, SR Liz was so good for Hero Arena. Going second, and honestly so was Red Matrona. So like, this Matrona, again, could be good for Hero Arena. Would I say you should summon for her because it's no. She is a regular character, she's not seasonal. She's gonna be in SR tickets, and eventually, if they do feel gracious in SSR tickets. But I don't know, I think they discontinue the SSR tickets forever because... <laughs> It's been years, and we still don't have Kusok and Chandler in there. So. That's about it. <laughs>